Question number one is, what is the role of the NMC? The correct answer is to regulate nurses and midwives in the UK to protect the public. Number two, what is the purpose of the NMC code? The correct answer is, it is a tool for educating prospective nurses and midwives. Question number three, all our purpose of NMC except? Correct answer is, it is responsible for regulating hospitals or other healthcare settings. Number four, the UK regulator for nursing and midwifery professions within the UK with a starting aim to protect the health and well-being of the public is? The correct answer is NMC. Number five. Which of the following agency set the standards of education, training and conduct and performance for nurses and midwives in the UK? The answer is NMC. Number six. What do you mean by code of ethics? The correct answer is legislative body of control nurses. Number seven, the code contains the professional standards that registered nurses and midwives must uphold. UK nurses and midwives must act in line with the code, whether they are providing direct care to individuals, groups or communities or bringing their professional knowledge to bear on nursing and midwifery practice in other roles, such as leadership, education, or research. What key areas does the code cover? The correct answer is prioritize people, practice effectively, preserve safety, promote professionalism, and trust. Number eight. NMC requires in the UK how many units of continuing education units a nurse should have in three years. The correct answer is 35 units. Number nine, the code is the foundation of the answer, good nursing and midwifery practice and a key tool in safeguarding the health and well-being of the public. Number 10, according to NMC standards, code and conduct, a registered nurse is excluded from legal action in which one of these? The answer is possessing stock medications. Number 11, the NMC code expects nurse to safeguarding the health and well-being of public through the use of best available evidence in practice. Which of the following nursing actions will ensure this? The answer is ensuring that the use of complementary or alternative therapies is safe and in the best interest of all in your care. Number 12, among the following values incorporated in the NMC's six C's, which is not included? The correct answer is confidentiality. Number three, a nurse delegates duty to a health assistant. What NMC standard she should keep in mind while doing this? The correct answer is, RN is accountable for care assistance actions. Number 14, which of the following is not one of the six fundamental values for nursing, midwifery, and care staff set out in compassion in practice nursing and midwifery and care staff? The correct answer is consideration. Number 15. According to law in England, UK, when you're faced with a situation of emergency, what is your action? The answer is you are not obliged in any way, but as a professional duty advises you to stop and assist. Number 16, according to NMC standards, code and conduct, 
A registered nurse is excluded from legal action in which one of these? The correct answer is fixed penalty for speeding. Number 17. The code is the foundation of? The correct answer is good nursing and midwifery practice and a key tool in safeguarding the health and well-being of the public. Number 18. A patient has been assessed as lacking capacity to make their own decisions. What government legislation or act referred to? The answer is Mental Capacity Act 2005. Number 19. Under the Carers Equal Opportunities Act 2004, what are carers entitled to? The correct answer is all of the above their own assessment, financial support, and respite care. Question 20. How many steps to discharge planning were identified by the Department of Health, DH 2010? The answer is 10 steps. Question 21. The single assessment process was introduced as part of the National Service Framework for Older People, DH 2001, in order to improve care for this group of patients? The answer is true. Question 22. Under the Carers Equal Opportunities Act 2004, what are carers entitled to? The correct answer is all of the above. Their own assessment, financial support, and respite care. Question 23. Which law provides communication aid to patients with disability? The correct answer is Equality Act. Question 24. Hearing aid provide to client comes under which act? The correct answer is Communication Act. Question 25. Mental Capacity Act 2005 explores which of the following concepts? The correct answer is Mental Capacity, Advanced Treatment Decisions, Independent Mental Capacity Advocates, and the Acts Code.